what I have here is an Ingemore uh, four-cylinder engine. I think it's a 3.6 cc, 36 cc uh, engine. Uh, I've had problems with it, but I didn't give up on it. I'm going to put an air filter assembly on it from a Troy built weed eater. <clears throat> I've already ordered another cover and filter. Uh, discovered that there's a idle needle in here. And I pulled the uh, Allen screw out, which was just siliconed in place. It's not even threaded in there. And <clears throat> was able to tune the idle a bit. The one thing I have found out, if it doesn't have oil in it, it will try to seize up. The bottom part, the crankshaft rods and pistons is lubricated by the rods splashing in the oil, and the upper part is lubricated by an oil pump, and it uh, lubricates the camshafts, the rock arms, and valves. It's a dual overhead cam, two valve per cylinder engine, has compression issues and it blows oil everywhere as you see is wet <clears throat> and I got some comment uh, well a comment on it about it uh, being out of tune well yeah yeah it was out of tune all right that's why I went in and did some adjustments there what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it off. Try to anyway. Fuel pump. Ignition system. We have power. Here it goes. Seems that I have a head gasket issue. The oil's turned milky. Hmm. I have to address that. But other than all the issues that I've mentioned uh, just before I started it, it runs pretty good. It's got potential. There's some quality issues that need to be addressed. And hopefully they'll address it in the next update on this engine but uh that's all I have I did try to well take that back I did try to put a piece P, ah, I'll get it right in a minute PCV uh, system in which stands for positive crankcase ventilation but there's so much blow by that it just pisses oil out everywhere um, yeah, I think it might have a blown head gasket now because this it oil's awfully milky looking. So I'm not going to run it now until I address that issue. Until next time. <clears throat>